Hey guys, Susie here. Um, it is early in the week, it's Monday, so I wanted to get a video out to you soon, that way you can start your week right. I've had a lot of questions um, in the past few weeks about abs, and everybody wants the flat stomach, everybody wants to see their abs, and they always want to know the exercises to do. Um, well, I'm going to throw a wrench in your plans and tell you it's not about exercise when it comes to abs. Sorry. Uh, everybody wants to do crunches. They want to do planks. They want to do all of these things to build their muscles. Well, I will give you some good news. Here is the good news. You have a six-pack. Yep, you have an incredible um, display of abs underneath some fat. Okay, all of us have abs. They're there. Some people have more defined abs um, than others because they do work harder and they do planks and they do um, crunches and all these different exercises, but it's not about the exercises. It's about what you eat. Um, I'll have people come into the gym and they will want me to give them all of these uh, videos, um, suggestions, um, anything that they can do to bring their abs out. They want to know all the exercises. What are the tricks? What can I do to build muscle? Well, what you need to do is eat right and get rid of the layer of fat that's on top of the abs. It's the hardest thing to do. Eating is the hard part. Um, it's easy to exercise. You even get like a little high from the exercise and you feel great. Uh, the hard part is food because food is comforting. Food is relaxing. It's what we do when we're uh, just hanging out with our friends. It's like the fellowship thing. You know, you watch a movie and you eat some food. You go on a date. Uh, you eat some food. You want to just chill. You eat some food. Everything revolves around food in our culture. And so what you need to do is learn how to eat right. Um, so when you're thinking about eating, you want to get the best quality of calories. You want lean protein. Protein is key, but needs to be a lean source. So it needs to be grilled chicken. It needs to be lean beef, uh, like flank steak, that kind of thing. Um, it needs to be turkey. Turkey is absolutely wonderful. Uh, lean pork chops. I'm not a pork person, but if you want pork, go lean. All those things, those are lean sources of protein. You want lots of vegetables, tons of veg vegetables actually. Um, and the darker the green, the better. All of those types of greens, they actually will help you burn more fat. They'll cleanse your liver, your kidneys, all those things. And um, they'll kind of kick your metabolism into over overdrive. So those are all great as well. Um, you want to stick to low sugar fruit. So that means no watermelon, I know, sorry. Uh, watermelon is actually really high in sugar, so you want to stay away from that. Uh, you want apples, you want pears, any type of berry, all of those are lower in sugar and those are um, higher in fiber. And so those are great sources. Um, another thing with protein, you can do non-fat Greek yogurt, you can do cottage cheese, low sugar or no sugar yogurt. Um, all of those things are great, but you need to think about the types of foods you're eating. Cut out the white bread, cut out white pasta, cut out sugar. Uh, the color white is your enemy. Stay away from it. You want to stay away from anything that is high in carbs, that you know is going to send your blood sugar through the roof. All those things are going to store fat, and you want to stay away from that. So keep the sugar low, keep the protein high and um, still stick to your crunches, still stick to your plank, but be mindful of what you eat. Abs are not made in the gym, they are made in the kitchen. If you eat right, that's when you're gonna see it, that's when you're gonna have the results. Um, you're gonna see that little six pack start to show through. So eat well, eat um, the way that Jesus would eat. That's what I always think, you know, if Jesus could eat it back then, uh, then that means it's good, it's healthy, it's got all the nutritional content that you need. If it's something that's made in a lab somewhere, probably not your best bet, probably not the thing that's, you know, going to bring those abs out. So um, I hope you have a fantastic week. 
keep it clean. We always call it clean eating because it's not filled with all these preserv preservatives and additives and all these things that are foreign to our bodies. It's clean eating. It's right eating. Um, so I hope you have a great week and I will see you later. Happy eating and hope you start to see those abs soon. Okay. See ya. Bye.